Hi, my name is Alice. I met Harold in February of 2019 when he was referred to me by Dr. Paraza. And since then, I have been working with him through the journey. Because as a navigator, I walk with you, hold your hand, walk with you until the journey is finished. And he introduced me to a team of comrades, loving people that I think if you donate for them, it will change their lives and change the face of South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Good day, comrades. My name is Harold. The lady Alice that has just spoken to you, yes, we met. Well, unfortunately, I met with Alice because of my sickness, which I was introduced to her by Dr. Parat. Then this went on and on until such time Alice uh, contacted the Sandy, whereby a support group was formed where most of the comrades were involved, were invited to be part of this. But the purpose of this support group is to try and raise funds because we feel that we have been neglected by our government, as some of our comrades, to raise funds which we think this will, become, will come very handy to us for our social needs, health, and all kinds of those things. And we just hope and wish that it becomes successful. Thank you. The plight of the ex-political prisoners in general, especially those that have been on Robben Island, is overlooked. Firstly, we have to express you know, our gratitude to people like uh, Harold Matilidi, who came up with an idea that we should come together to sort of uh, bring to the fore the plight of ex-political prisoners who have been generally called a diminishing species, meaning that uh, once we are gone, there is nothing that can be resurrected. They cannot be resurrected. The most important part of this uh, come together, it is fundraising as led by the people that have been mentioned earlier. Sandy and Alice. These are the people who, in fact, are doing all they can to sort of put the plight of the ex political prisoners in the forefront once in a while. Good day. My name is Bumzi Jong Sisulu. I was. Uh, Sentenced to five years, and uh, I spent about four years in Robben Island. Um, and I was released at a later stage uh, last year, January, the, sec the second day of the month, I was hit by a stroke. I um, have problems with medication. Um, I'm very happy that I met with uh, Mr. Matsi Didi. Uh, who brought me into this group um, and the purpose of this group is to try and raise funds for us as we do not have any assistance from anywhere. Um, it would be nice for anybody, any South African, if you could um, contribute towards the success of um, our goal. Uh, first, first and foremost, I must give my thanks to both the organizers here, Harold, Sandy, Alice, and the other person whose name needs to be mentioned is Katizi himself. People that are around here that are ex-political prisoners are in need of health care, are in need of other social amenities that are needed throughout uh, that's particular that they have suffered, they continue to suffer, and we're appealing to people out there to say, please lend a helping hand, find uh, financial assistance so that now this group can actually grow and begin to support one another. It's a support group, and we're hoping to keep it in this fashion. With your donation, with your funding, we hope that the group will go a step further uh, to 
improve the quality of life of these people that have actually had difficult times. My name is Wisile Edward Timbundu. I'm part of this group which is headed by Matsididi. I've known Matsididi for quite a long time and we have been sharing that is a very good story with him, all his problems. When he was diagnosed with cancer, Matsididi came to me and told me and then he said, he's not the only one, but if you can share the story that is with the comrades, it's him telling me that he's the ex-political prisoner. And then I said, no, that, is, that can be done. It was done, and then the comrades that is came on board, and there's still a lot of comrades whom we don't know that is uh, who are suffering from what because they've never been diagnosed. Most of the comrades are unemployed. Others they don't have that is the medical aid. Those that is who are entitled to get that is help from the one mill. At times it is difficult because of the transport issue. So that is we are appealing to South Africans to help us to overcome that is this hurdle. Ubuntu is when we are connected to one another. Hi, I'm Sandy. And from the stories you've already heard, this is about a chain of love and caring between ordinary South African people who are responding to the needs of others. This campaign has really touched my heart. I've met these incredibly wonderful heroic men from our history and I feel very passionately that I'd like to do something because they deserve something better going forward than they've had in the past. Please donate to help us to transport, medical care, counselling and other really basic needs.